Welcome back to this broadcast here on JC TV Africa with your host here, Uncle JC. And wherever you're watching us from, whether they're watching this as a rebroadcast or you're watching this live, welcome. And this is the story that we're following. To those that are just joining us, um, we are talking about the super sport winger. Kudakwashe Mahachi, and also a Warriors uh, striker. Um, if you re recall, we've got good memories of Kudakwashe Mahachi. Uh, the last game that we played in the AFCON, he also scored a goal, very beautiful goal. Uh, so those are some of the fond memories that we can remember of him. Uh, whether we are going to be playing in the AFCON um, that is coming up, that he is upon Zifa and FIFA. Anyway, Coming to the story of what happened, uh, there is a story that is making rounds on social media, the story of the wife of Kudama Hachi, the current wife. Uh, they got married in, 20, in 2018 as in paying for Lobola. They, that's when they got, uh, they, he paid Lobola and then they wedded in 2019. They had their first, um, first uh, child uh, somewhere around um, uh, 2020 uh, when people were you know criticizing for showing you know his the wife showing the bum and uh, they did the photo shoot so they've been together for pretty much like four years uh in their marriage but however what has happened here is that there is a form of panic that happened and panic and wrong decision making why do I say this? Because what made these people to panic was you saw the story that came out whereby they were talking about the uh, the baby mama trying to extort money from Kudama Hachi. So as a woman who is in the marriage feeling threatened by the other woman that is trying to take or to get the attention of the husband in your marriage, there was panic because they the scalding of, of this boy with, with hot water could have been solved if they made a wrong a, a right decision. They could have said, yes, it was a mistake. They took the child to the hospital and get him uh, treated. But what happened here is, the reason why Kudama Hachi is trying to cover up is because there was panic. The panic that was there was they wanted to, to make sure that they uh, hide this incident from the uh, uh, baby mama so that she does not make drama uh, or try to extort money from Kudama Hachi. Because if you follow the story, if you are analytical and you are thinking like as i'm thinking that if you have followed the story they are saying that kudama hachi has uh, i mean the 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 baby was injured in zimbabwe right what caused this panic the panic comes from the fact that the current woman feels threatened by the woman that is uh that is the the the, the mother of the child the mother of diego so at the end of the day, they made a decision in a hasty way to say, let's take the, the baby to Zimbabwe because we don't want any drama. But now they've invited drama. Instead, what they could have done was to take the baby, bring him here, I mean, uh, uh, get medication. The child is fine. Even if he was going to go back to Zimbabwe with, you know, some marks and all of that, that was going to be much easier than what they are now. Because right now, what I can tell you is that Kudama Hachi's career is going to be over if he does not make any decision now. So the panic has caused people to react in this way. And I'll tell you a story <clears throat> that 
that I read, you know, in a Shona book of uh, a, a story of, I think some of you have read Kusasana Kuno Parera. And you know that there is this man, very reputable man, he was dating this lady called Yuna. And <clears throat> because he panicked and he made a wrong decision and he put the woman that had died out of a mistake and he put him in his boat. You know? And some of you, you know what ended up being the story. So what I'm trying to say is that there are some times when you panic and you make the wrong decision. And not knowing that if I make this decision and I don't own up to my mistake, I might find myself, you think that what you are doing is actually exonerating you from trouble. This is what I feel. Because if you check the story of um, the wife of Kodama Hachi, uh, if you can check the story that I'm going to put up there on the screen, um, that says that she is into hiding. Why is she hiding if she knows that she's clean? Why is she running away if she knows that she's clean? And she is one probably that is influencing the decision of saying uh, the, the, the um, she made that she influenced that decision of her of um, of the boy going to Zimbabwe. You see, uh, Kudama Hachi's wife Rose is uh, reportedly in hiding after evidence emerged that she allegedly burned her stepson and could have helped her cover it up. You understand? So this is the problem that you then find that if um, you then uh, not come out and own up your mistake, it's going to come back and uh, and haunt you. I don't want to believe in the rich horse story because obviously if there was the rich horse story, if you check the interview that I did with uh, Ezra Chisas Banda, the story that is there is that the father beat up the child and then he scalded him with, uh, with hot water. But there is no story of a, him being taken to a place or something like that. So my thinking is that my analytical thinking is this was a mistake that happened. And when the mistake happened, they panicked because they didn't want to alert the mother of the child because they thought that that assumption that they have, that are, they are putting out to us to say, ah, uh, she is wanting to extort 2.5 million from um, Kudamahaj. That assumption, which they've put out there, they say that she is one who is responsible. She, is, she wants to sue this one for damages and all of that. This is what happened. It shows you that they panicked and they made up the story to say she um, she did it, but they are the ones who did it. Because the video that is there that uh, Ezra, you know, screenshot that this is what is going to happen. Uh, we're going to wait on his page to see what is going to what is going to do to reveal uh, that footage uh, to the to the to the public. So, what would I advise Kudama Hash to do? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have spoken to to his former coach Kaitano Tembo, and um, he promised to give me an interview. I'm waiting for that, um, so so that I can ascertain if he has spoken to him. But from the interview that I had with Ezra Banda uh, on Sunday, he said Kuda should try to own up to his mistake. This is a mistake that happened. There is a child that is involved and there is no need for all this drama. He needs his father to fly to Zimbabwe and try to negotiate with the mother of the child and see if they can find each other. Not finding each other is in trying to, you know, uh, get back together, but trying to find each other for the good of the child. And then number two, what he needs to do is to own up to his mistake and make a press statement because his club has made a press statement after all this. He is threatening people with lawyers and say retract and all of that. This is not going to help his career. It is actually going to ruin it because everyone now, right now, is living on speculation on not um, what happened. Because right uh, 
what Ezra put out there is the truth because he has put up a video of what happened inside the house. So now, if that video is then released, it exposes him. And then he is exposing himself, one, to There is, number one, the immigration laws of the country, of here in South Africa, where he is. He has breached the immigration laws. Number two, abuse of the child. Number three, uh, what is going to what is going to face is uh, he's also going to face um, uh, the issue of negligence, the negligence of the child. So all these cases they are going to come against him, and if he does not clean up that, at least if he can own up to the mistake and say he, he is going to go through the legal processes, by the time we get to June, all the clubs that are now trying to you know to look by the time the season opens. They can now buy him, and he can, you know, uh, you know, uh, see if he can, you know, find a club. This all that I'm telling you, it is the branch out of my brother Ezra Chisas Banda, whom I was with on Sunday. You can go and check out that interview. Excuse me, we were talking about that. So it is very, very important for Kudamaachi to take that decision. And the more he delays to not publish anything, the more he delays. To not apologize publicly, the more he delays to not go and see his, his his baby mama and his son, it is it is doing more damage to him than it is doing good. But anyway, tell me what you think about this. I saw a lot of people saying that he must rot in jail and everything. I don't wish that for um for for this young man. I wish him all the best. But this is a mistake that he failed to handle. As a man, he failed to handle it. And if he needs to salvage something from his career or to make sure that he makes things right, one with his son, because at the end of the day, if he keeps quiet and keeps on trying to, and then he is then found guilty, what he has created is he created a big enmity between him and his son. Because the mother, when this boy is going to grow up, is going to keep on feeding that your father rejected you. And if this mother is going to form a family and everything and take care of the child. And this child grows and Kudama Mahachi's career becomes over. This child is not going, is going to hate his father. So my advice to him is try to find a common ground with your baby mama. And number two, apologize to her and try to make sure that you are also on up to your mistake. And I believe that you can give, we can, as the people of Zimbabwe, they can give you a second chance. And the people in the football world can also give you a second chance if you own up to your mistake. That is my thinking. And tell me what you think in the comment section. Because at this point in time, the person who knows what really happened is Kudama Hachi and his wife. And they can reveal to the world what happened. And that is their way to freedom. Or that is their way to saving themselves from all this mess that they are in i don't know what you think about this uh some people are saying anton masomika is as i'm sure i don't think it was an issue of mshonga or i mean of rich cause i don't think so personally i don't think so um i stand to be corrected but them they know the truth but what i'm telling you is from the story that they've put out there to say she's trying to extort she was sleeping with this malaycha and all of that and all this this is a way to try to cover up for a mistake that they did. And that mistake can only be corrected by them owning up to their mistake. And if they own up him and the, the, the wife, then they can solve this issue. Even in the absence of the wife, Kodama Hach can sort out this because he was there when this all happened. So if he's going to keep quiet, it's going to ag aggravate this issue further. People are going to continue speculating. People are going to see him as a monster. And he is also going to ruin his career by a simple issue that he can solve uh, by just gathering two um, parties, him and the mother of the wife, and also try to, uh, to see if he can uh, face the authorities and say, look, I messed up. I did this. This was wrong. If he can be fined, if he can be taken to court, he can be taken to court. But still, that is not going to affect his career because his career... Is what is more is what is also important in spite of the child. 
his career and the relationship with the child is more important than all these you know things that he's trying to cover up with anyway i'll see you on the next episode tell me what you think in the comment section do you think there is something for kodama hatch at this point in time i think that he can salvage something if he owns up to his mistake anyway have yourself a great day i'll see you tonight when we're going to be having the discussion that i uh we're supposed to have on sunday uh we're going to be having um general sarkozy and mr mandaza uh to have a debate on the health system and the health care system of our country in zimbabwe what can be done how can we solve this problem of people that are coming here to south africa to seek medical uh, medical care women that are uh, filling up messina because they want medical care from south africa what can you do who is to blame and all that tonight um at between 7 to 8 p.m because i'm trying to fit in in our load shedding schedule so that i don't have uh, to struggle with lights anyway have yourself a wonderful evening i'll see you tonight as we be discussing the story of the health system in zimbabwe have yourself a wonderful day and take care Thank <music> you.